Some ass later. Alright. So you said. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, all we do is really, we send the Lord an SOS every day because the Lord is our prayer, our receiver, and our healer. Mm -hmm. He's many more things, but those are the top three that we need most. But you said every that day. He, we send an SOS every, every day, even though even, we don't know. Even though you don't know it. He mm -hmm. said we send an SOS to God every day, even when we don't know it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, you do. How I, and how do you feel about God, though? I feel like he's my receiver. And my, what do you mean my by receiver? He receives what I need mm -hmm. from within us. Because we don't know what we have. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're basically like a bag of goodies. We don't know. You know? Well, we're a bag of goodies. We just don't know what's inside. Yeah. Like and we're like, we're like, man, we're empty. You say you're empty, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. You might feel empty because you believed it so long. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, if you start not to believe it, then if you, you start, start believing the truth. It. Yeah, when you start believing the truth, you see with the lie, right? Mm -hmm. Don't be fooled by the devil, y'all, because you'll it's, be empty. You'll only empty more of who you really are. Mm -hmm. You'll take his emptiness and put it into your because mm -hmm. you're your, not to your empty. fullness. You'll yeah. take your you'll take. You'll and take that's where his the emptiness is and he'll from. take your fullness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's where the recharging is coming from. From And a couple of years ago when I said you go to God and you recharge yourself, mm -hmm. that's where that's coming from. Mm -hmm. So if you take the devil's emptiness and and store it within yourself, you your don't have to recharge by God. Yeah. Just like a Tesla, if it runs out of battery, it has to recharge for it to operate. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have to do with God. That's how we have to do with God. So how do you feel about God? I feel... He's amazing, and I need him every day life. Do you ever think about God in regards to how he puts planets in the universe? I do think about that. That's why it's so fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. And how, like, they're all put in, like, a... And they're not just stuck there. They're constantly moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just, you know, I just got so emotional about that. I was just like... I focus on problems and all you do is purpose everything. You purpose, you purposely purpose everything, right? Like, and then like, it's just, I was thinking about Saturn and no two planets are alike, but we, we tend to on earth, um, compare ourselves to other people. And how can you do that? Like Jupiter is never Saturn and Saturn is never earth. And Mars mm -hmm. could never be like, but why would I, as a human who who was highly lifted above all that, ever see myself as anything else other than His? You know, mm -hmm. and it's like these planets are like, oh, like wow. Why wouldn't I look at me and say, wow? Because I don't know what I possess. Like you said, all of the goodness is inside. But why would I look at my fellow man and not be, wow, God did that? You know, it just, it just blows my mind that the universe he created exists and none of us have nothing to do with it. Like, doesn't that like, right? Like, what? And then people, God and the universe, but he created the universe. What do you mean? He put the sun in the, I just, I don't know. God is just huge to me. All right. Thank you.